And here's an example. I'm trying to find eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this 3 by 3 matrix, negative 2, negative 2, negative 9, negative 1, 1, negative 3, 1, 1, 4. After we factor the characteristic polynomial for this matrix, we find the characteristic equation is negative 1 times t minus 1 times t squared minus 2t plus 2 equal to 0. So we have one real root, like lambda sub 1, is equal to 1 because of this linear factor. And using the quadratic formula on this quadratic factor, we found a pair of complex eigenvalues. Lambda sub 2 is 1 plus i, and lambda sub 3 is 1 minus i. And in the following, I will be focusing on finding the eigenvectors for this pair of complex eigenvalues. Let's first look at lambda sub 2. How do we find the eigenvectors corresponding to an eigenvalue? That's right, because the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda sub 2 are those non-zero vectors x that satisfy this linear relationship a minus lambda sub 2 times i multiplying to x equal to the zero vector. Finding those non-zero vectors is equivalent to finding non-zero solutions to this homogeneous linear system. And finding solutions to a linear system involves writing down the augmented matrix. In this case, a minus lambda sub 2i, 0, which is negative 3 minus i, negative 2, negative 9, negative 1, negative i, negative 3, 1, 1, 3 minus i, and the right-hand side vector being 0, 0, 0. And as we recall, in order to find solutions to this linear system, a useful way is to reduce this augmented matrix to a reduced echelon form. So first of all, because this entry in the first row and first column is not 0, we know there's going to be a leading one in the first row. And we can use this non-zero entry to reduce these entries below it to 0. But there is one problem with this. You can do it this way, but it involves dividing complex numbers. And that's not as easy as dividing real numbers. So if I were you, I would first take steps to make sure this entry is a real number. That will save me a lot of calculations down the road, and it will be worth it. So one easy way to do that is to simply switch the first row with either the second row or the third row. Because you were originally given a real matrix, and this matrix is obtained by subtracting a complex eigenvalue from only the diagonal entries, you will always have real numbers below the diagonal line. So you can always make sure the entry in this position is real by switching the rows. And in this case, I would switch the first row with the third row, because the third row has a 1 there which makes calculations much easier. So after switching that, I have 1, 1, 3 minus i, negative 1, negative i, negative 3, negative 3 minus i, negative 2, negative 9. And the right-hand side vector is 0, 0, 0. 